Hi, welcome to TravelingWithRoots.com, the vlog edition. Today I'm going to show you my Korean apartment. Alright, so when you first walk into my apartment, you actually get hit with a lot of stuff. You have shoes on the ground, you have a folding bike, a chair, some pictures. Um, it is Korea, so things are pretty small here. Now this is actually a bigger apartment than my first apartment in Korea. Um, but it is still slightly smaller than what you would expect in the United States. Uh, to, off to the left you will find a shoe cabinet full of my shoes, of course. Um, and then, of course, uh, storage for other things. It's really for umbrellas, but I use it to hold volleyball and badminton rackets, things like that. You'll end up walking straight into my kitchen. Now, I do enjoy this kitchen. It's small, but it's better than my last one, like I said. Um, the refrigerator is actually closer to a full-size refrigerator than my previous apartment. The last refrigerator that I had was not even half this size. It was less. So I really enjoy this. I think it's a better refrigerator anyway. It keeps things cooler. And then this is, this is my kitchen. I have cabinets. And I have one little tiny counter space and a couple of drawers. Um, the counter space is really tiny, especially since I have this huge kitchen, or this huge sink, sorry. Um, and so it's tiny. And then I also have this small burners, just two of them. But I, I actually, that's good enough for me. And it, they are gas, so you have to click them on just like that. Um, and I usually keep it off just because it's safer, it saves gas anyway. In order to kind of extend my kitchen, um, countertops, I did use my desk that was in my, my bedroom, but uh, I, I think I use it more out here than I did in my room, so it works. Something very important to me is this baby right here, my toaster oven. I have made cookies, I have made brownies, chicken, french fries, all kinds of things. I love it. I use it all the time. It wasn't very expensive um, and it's small so it fits into my small tiny space. One thing I do want to show you is over here at the kind of what you see when you first enter. This is These are all my light switches to my apartment but this right here is the hot water heater. It turns it on or off. It also works the floor heat. Um, so this is very important. This is the on switch right here. Um, and then that just kind of sets it, and then I just play around there. this, like, brings it up, brings it down, things like that. This is the hot water right now, not the Andela. Um And you kind of figure it out. You just push buttons and see what happens. You can also get people to translate for you. Okay, and you're going into my bedroom, my living room, my media room, my library my, I have no other, my ice box, I don't know, it has the air conditioning in it, but this is my bed right here, and this is my couch, it is a floor couch, a Korean floor couch, it's actually pretty nice, especially if you don't want to always sit in your bed or on your bed, you just kind of want to remove yourself from kind of a laying position, so this is nice, um, and then the most important thing in this room right now is the fan, of course, it's on right now, it's really humid, hot. Um, it's actually getting cooler than when I first arrived back in Korea, but August is really hot and humid, sticky. I do have an air conditioning, but it's kind of, it's loud. It uses a lot of energy. You end up spending a lot of money on your energy bill. Um, and so to save money, I usually just use my fan and turn that on when I can't stand it any longer. If I'm like working in here, cleaning things up or something, I will turn it on. At night I turn it on as well, um, just to cool things off, and then I turn it off before I go to bed. Uh, because I don't have a TV, and I'm using my desk as, as extra counter space, I'm actually using the TV cutout, or the TV built-in, I should say, um, to hold all of my electronics uh, and my books and things like that. And so there's my computer, my iPad, um, my books and just storage and things like that are all over there. Um, and that that's pretty much it. I'm just being creative just because I need a lot of space. Yeah, there's a lot of wires everywhere, but it's usually just me in here. It's not a big deal. One thing I love about this apartment is the two built-in floor-to-ceiling 
closets. Now my last apartment only had one closet and it was a prefab and so it actually ended up not holding a whole lot of clothes but I found that this these closets allow me to be a little bit more organized. It's not that organized but um, it's better than the last one that I had so I got I can hang things I can also put um, folding things like jeans and, and t-shirts and stuff and what I love about this is I can put my suitcases inside here they, they fit perfectly um, and that's important being an expat you need to be able to store your suitcases somewhere and you can't always do that in apartments because apartments are so small okay so walking out of my bedroom you'll turn right and you'll be faced with this hallway now this window doesn't open sadly I wish it did because it would be amazing airflow then um, but I just put a curtain on it it does provide extra light so that's nice um, you go to the left and you'll see my bathroom um, the bathroom's pretty normal you have and there's me hi but you'll have um, a toilet a sink and then the shower in Korea is quite interesting. This is a better setup than my last one, but here is the shower. It's the entire, um, uh, it's the entire bathroom. Now some places do actually have bathtubs or kind of like uh, glass windows to separate a little bit so it doesn't splash everywhere, but this one doesn't. My last one, the shower head, you see how it has its own faucet? Well, that was actually part of the sink faucet at my last apartment. So you had to push a special button to turn it on so that it doesn't come from the sink, but it comes from the shower head. So that, it, that's nicer, um, or this is nicer than my last. If you were to go right from the hallway, you would be faced with this room. This room is my hot water heater, my air conditioning unit, my clothes dryer, my washing machine. Um, this right here, this string, is pulls up and down my clothes dryer. So there's no dishwasher, there's no um, actual clothes dryer that's electric, so you do save a lot of energy. Um, your bills are not so high, but at the same time you do have to prep and plan. Um, laundry is kind of a pain sometimes. And this is my washing machine. As you can see, it's all in Korean. Um, that is the on button. That's the start button. And I just pretty much, this is like the hot water, cold water. I just like push buttons until the time is about right for what I want. 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour. Um, and that just depends on like soaking and things like that. It's just a regular, it's a top loader. <laughs> it has clothes in there right now. I need to go get some detergent so I can do laundry. But... Um, it's it's just a regular washing machine. You just play around with the buttons until you get something you want and then hope for the best. If you have any good clothing that you don't want to chance it, just take it to the dry cleaners. They're pretty cheap here. And then this is my air conditioning unit. I don't like that it's on the ground so far away from the window, but it's okay. Um, what happens is I close up this room, leave the window open, uh, and then turn it on, and so it kind of just blows out, and it cools down pretty fast. But this is my window into my bedroom. So I actually don't have a straight window from the outside world into my bedroom, which makes it really hot. So what ends up happening is I'll, I'll close this door at night so that I can just have a direct line between the cool air from the window to the outside into my room. It doesn't always work. Circulation is hot. Um, this is my outside. Not much to see. Lots of buildings of other apartments. Um, a lot of our apartments are exactly the same around here or at least close to the being similar. So they're usually just like five floors, four to five floors, except for these over there are the big ones and they're expensive and then you find yourself back into my living area alright there's my Korean apartment I hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up go ahead and check out my other um, written blog and I hope you watch more vlogs by me thank you for watching bye